For 70 years, the 308 Winchester has been the standard in the hunting world and the military world. It's the definition of efficiency and what I would say is hitting above its weight. So what do I mean when I say hitting above its weight? Well, it's such a mild manner cartridge that is just your do-it-all cartridge. It's taken countless elk, moose, deer, antelope. It really can do it all, and it's very mild-mannered. It's a versatile cartridge, meaning you can shoot bullets that are like 110 grain all the way up to, if you really want it to, 180 grain. And it does it all pretty darn well. It really has been the standard for such a long time. However, move over 308 Winchester. There's a new king in town. It's the 6.5 Creedmoor. It has higher BC bullets, milder recoil, but is it a do-it-all cartridge? Does it hit above its weight? Does it have all of the killing power you'd want from deer all the way up to moose? Let's find out. The 6.5 Creedmoor was introduced in 2008 as a long distance cartridge and people immediately fell in love with this and eventually it got into the hunting market and people loved the mild recoil, uh, the high BC bullets that give it a little bit more power than it probably should because of those high BC bullets. And let's just take a look at the 6.5 Creedmoor case. So the parent case to this guy is the 30TC. And I'm not sure how many of you have heard of the 30TC. It's kind of a failed cartridge, but it's loosely based off a 308 Winchester, just with a sharper shoulder, just like the 6.5 Creedmoor. The powder capacity is a little bit more in the 308 Winchester. So you can shoot similar weight bullets a bit faster in a 308. The Creedmoor hasn't been here that long, as I said, since 2008, and it has been so influential for all the cartridges that have followed it. So why is it influential? Well, they've really hit it with a modern design. So what do I mean is it's going to have a sharper shoulder, and they are designing the chamber to be able to have a lot more free bore than some of your older cartridges like 308 Winchester, 300 Win Mag, similar cartridges like that. And so, I mean, you can see from here is just how far the bullet is seated out. So the purpose for that is to really take advantage of all of your powder capacity. And so it is it an extremely efficient cartridge. Now, let me show you some of the numbers for it. Okay, now we're on to 130 grain. Let's just look at the AccuBond has a pretty respectable BC of 0.488. And when using 130 grain, you can really get uh, the 6.5 Creedmoor moving. So one of the downsides to the Creedmoor is that it's not a very fast cartridge, but you start using smaller bullets and you're almost approaching 3000 feet per second with a 130 class grain bullet. So I think it's pretty easy to say you could get 2900 feet per second with a 130 grain. The 308 Winchester was introduced in 1952, and what the military really wanted was a replacement for the great 30 out 6. What they wanted was a cartridge that was smaller but still produce basically the same ballistics, and they really found that in a 308. So what's incredible about the 308 is, is just how efficient it is. So when you're shooting 150 grain to 168 grain, you're not seeing a huge difference between the 30-06 and the 308 Winchester. Let me show you. Let's first look at the 150 grain class bullet and a 308. When you reload it, this is obviously going to be a little bit different than uh, your factory ammo. You can really get this uh, 308 to be moving, really. So a top velocity, look at that, almost 3,000 feet per second. And when you look at the 30 out 6, it's right at 3,000, maybe 3,050 feet per second with a 150 grain. So not a huge difference at all. Then when we take it to the 165 grain bullets, 
Again, it's very close to a 30 out six. And your top velocity, I, you know, apparently 2,900 feet per second. However, that's a very compressed load. I would expect it to get around low 2,800 feet per second, which is still very good performance in this really small package. Now let's get back to 308 Winchester versus 6.5 Creedmoor. Let's start with the 6.5 Creedmoor Ballistics with a 130 grain AccuBond, BC of 0.488, and a hand-loaded velocity of 2,900 feet per second. Your muzzle energy, 2,428 foot-pounds, and again, only 13 foot-pounds of recoil in an 8-pound rifle. Really mild shooting. You know, let's just look at 200 yards. The bolt's going 2,527 feet per second, 1,844 foot-pounds, and it's 3.24 inches of drop. And let's just see what kind of the limit for, I think, hunting in a 6.5 Creedmoor. Personally, I would say 300 yards with it going 2,352 feet per second and your energy at 1,597 foot-pounds. Now, I know that's a little controversial, that people are shooting animals a lot farther than that, but yeah, I I just wouldn't do it. So it almost has 12 inches of drop at 300 yards. And let's just take it out to 400 for fun. 2,183 foot pounds, feet per second, and then 1,376 foot pounds of energy and 26.9 inches of drop. So it's relatively flat and uh, energy is, yeah, it's mild as well. Now we're on to the 308 Winchester with the 165 grain AccuBond. Again, hand loading it, you can get it 2,800 feet per second. Your energy is over 400 more foot pounds than a 6.5 Creedmoor at 2,873 foot pounds. But with faster velocities and bigger bullets, you're going to have more recoil. And so you're going to feel this a little bit more. Now out to 200 yards, the bullet's going 2,425 feet per second. 2,156 foot-pounds, so it has at least a 200 foot-pound advantage over the 6.5 Creedmoor at 200 yards. Uh, the 6.5 Creedmoor, they're very similar at 200 yards. I think the 6.5 Creedmoor barely has an advantage at being a little flatter. Now, I would say your limits with the 308 Winchester, probably about 400 yards. And even then, I don't know how comfortable I would be shooting Again, that's me. That's uh, just my opinion. It bolts almost going 2,100 feet per second. Your energy, though, again, about 200 more foot-pounds than the 6.5 Creedmoor at 400 yards at 1,580 foot-pounds. And then, again, the 6.5 Creedmoor is a little bit flatter, but the 308's not that big of a difference. Looking at the data, I would feel much more comfortable using a 308 Winchester for hunting especially if I want to use it as kind of a do-it-all cartridge. If I wanted to take elk, I would feel much more comfortable taking a 308 Winchester than a 6.5 Creedmoor. So the 308 Winchester definitely beats it in hunting. And it's no surprise, the 6.5 Creedmoor kind of smokes it for long distance shooting. Uh, when you start shooting those higher BC bullets in the 140 grain category, the 308 Winchester just cannot get close to matching the ballistics of a 6.5 Creedmoor for target shooting. So why has the 6.5 Creedmoor overtaken the 308 Winchester in sales, in bolt action sales? Well, I think it has to do for a couple reasons. Number one is Hornady is extremely good at marketing. When someone's going to get a new gun, well, everyone has a 6.5 Creedmoor and it shoots with really high BC bullets and it has such mild recoil it's got to be amazing, right? Well, there's definitely some truth to it, but, uh, you know, the 6.5 Creedmoor still has its limitations as well. So I think the 6.5 Creedmoor is 21st century version of a 308 Winchester. Again, for hunting purposes, I would 100% pick a 308 over a 6.5 Creedmoor. But if I wanted to have more confidence in shooting out to 1,000 yards, I'd pick a 6.5 Creedmoor. Let me know in the comments what you would pick between these two. Hope you enjoyed the video.